Hello YouTube, this is Bowtide Media, and today is my first album review of 2021, and it is none other than Flux Pavilion's Dot Wave. Mr. I Can't Stop is back for his sophomore LP, and I still remember the days of 2012, watching the Coney 2012 video and hearing this dubstep song come on, the I Can't Stop by Flux Pavilion, and how he became an instant electronic music staple artist since then. I think Flux Pavilion has done a great job of staying on top of musical trends, as in 2012 he was making the banger dubstep stuff like Skrillex was, and now he's sort of making things that are things you would hear in basic electronic music today, with a lot of future bass, liquid trap, and light melodic dubstep. And with that, it means that this project does sound a lot like what popular electronic music does right now, and you'll hear a lot of very similar sounds to what the music industry sounds like right now. But with that as well, this project offers a lot of different sounds for a lot of different taste buds. If you like this certain genre of electronic music or this, he sort of has a little bit of everything for everyone. But I think that kind of all over the place mosaic of music comes with some downsides, that being a lack of consistency and kind of a narrative thematic elements throughout the entire project. It really feels like a lack of cohesiveness across this entire album, where everything sounds good on its own and individual tracks, but together they're not really anything special and they don't really tell any long storyline. And I'm not saying that every album needs to have this thematic tie-in across the, all the tracks, I'm just saying it does help with replay value and longevity of the project. I think that for the most part, the individual tracks on this album are good. They're above average. And like I said earlier, there's a little bit of something for everyone, so it's hard to be disappointed with this project as a whole. But it's also hard to be really loving this whole thing. Speaking of which, I think Flux Pavilion has this kind of inner battle, this inner struggle between wanting to create this popular, successful commercial music and his kind of creative, innovative electronic music style that kind of goes back and forth the entire time. And he's it's like a mini tug of war where he wants to be commercially successful, but also make something that's new and innovative, but he can't really have both. And you can hear it in some of the songs. I think quite a few of the songs actually struggle with that balance, but I think some in particular are Lion's Cage and I Believe. Both follow your pretty simplistic pop electronic music tropes in a female vocalist and this kind of basic future bass drop. But throughout both the tracks, you kind of get a sense that he's almost pulling it back a little bit and being a little bit more innovative with keeping a longer pre-chorus or longer uh, instrumental version between the two drops. And you think it's gonna go one specific way and or be a lot more creative and ingenuitive, but uh, it just doesn't. But on the other hand, tracks like Partial Fugue in B minor is a great example of how Flux Pavilion does that balance well. It uses the Fugue in B minor originally by Bach and adds a lot more modern EDM elements to it. It's got those classic motifs like the trap triplets and 808s. And I think there's this fine line that when it comes to remixing a such a renowned composer like Bach, but I think Flux Pavilion does it well and it's not too cringe and not too much, it's not ruining anything. I think it is a nice little modern take on an old classic and if anything, it's got me thinking about classical music some more rather than me feeling like, oh my gosh, this is so bad. This is disgracing classical music. So I think for some people that will be a huge miss of this track. And for people like me, I actually really enjoy it. Another highlight for me was Symphony featuring Lena. And this track came out back in 2018, actually, with this LP dropping in 2021. So it's been a single that's been out for quite some time, but I could not stop listening to it when it first came out. It's got this really nice pulled back minimalistic sound design to it that adds in these booming big bass hits on both the pre-chorus and drop. It is a relatively simple drop that is on the backs of the nice strings and organ chords. And the lyrics definitely match up with the idea of it being a symphony. Fall to me is a track that brings me back to 2012, the hype dubstep days with Chime as a production feature and Space Cadet on vocals. It feels like a throwback track to me, but the non-drop sections aren't as gritty and rough as old school dubstep used to be, and has a nice more melodic taste to it. And it's definitely the drops that take you back. And then the electric guitar at the end is super subtle, but super powerful. Somebody Else is the 14th track off this LP and easily my least favorite. It sounds like just an Elenium ripoff track, with a female vocalist uh, that's just kind of sputtering nonsense with a pretty basic melodic dubstep drop. I just don't understand the lyrics here and what the drop or content is trying to convey. It says, if you want me to love somebody else, I will, I will. If all it takes is loving somebody else, I will, I will. So basically you're saying that you want to love this guy here, but uh, to get you to love each other, you need to love someone else? 
and then you guys will get together? I don't understand that. It's not like this... I could read that at first and think of it as some jealousy thing and trying to make the other person jealous, um, and that's how you get them to love you, but it's really not conveyed that way at all, and so I don't understand what the song is saying. But while I think Flux Pavilion has a ton of solid individual tracks here, I think he tried to do a little bit too much with this project. There are so many different sounds and genres that just don't mesh well together, especially when there's not some narrative or cohesive thematic element to tie everything in. It's a weird line to me because there are tracks like Symphony and Sink Your Teeth In which are just pure great Flux Pavilion to me. Stuff that I really enjoy and something I will have on repeat for a long time. But on the other hand, tracks that sound actually pretty similar, like You and I and Somebody Else, I just don't like those ones at all, and they sound bland and boring to me. And so it's just this really close line that he just either does really well in or it just falls flat. And I think a lot of that is what he's trying to base his sound or musical elements off of. In when he's trying to sound like the production of Alenium with those kind of last two tracks I mentioned, it doesn't sound great when it's trying to get this commercial success, I don't really love it. But when he's doing tracks like Dig Your Teeth In and Symphony where it sounds new and creative and more minimalistic and it sounds like he's actually really going at it and trying to make his own sound, I really enjoy it. And considering this album was pieced together over uh, numerous years, up to I think three or four, it doesn't sound much like an album that has a lot of cohesiveness. It sounds a lot more like a compilation or just catalog of music. It seemed like Flux Pavilion just wanted to put out another album and didn't really have a rhyme or reason to where songs went on the track list or where he wanted to build them off of one another. Individually, there are a ton of fun, lovable tracks, but cohesively as a unit, the whole squanders the sum. And with that, Plex Pavilion's Dot Wave is going to score a six. But thank you guys so much for watching. I have been Bowtied Media. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Uh, let me know what other artists you want me to review in 2021, stuff that's upcoming. Let me know in the comment section below, and I will definitely take a look at it. But I will see you guys in another video.